In this video, we are going to check how to create a custom CS Certs file and ways to apply a custom CS Certs file. Let us check the situations in which uh, you will need to use this. So basically, if uh, there is a difference between uh, certs that you are trying to apply and uh, you have applied a different certificate for your Helix platform deployment and if there is any difference in the certificate that you have used for Helix Innovation Shoot application, you will have issues or you will face some issues related to the authentication. So in that particular situation, you will need to ensure you are using same and the common certificate for both Helix platform as well as Helix IT service management installations. So in this particular situation, if you are using any of the self-signed certificate or a custom CA certificate, you will have to ensure that the same is used as I mentioned and this particular file for Helix Innovation Suite installations or the deployment needs to be converted or formatted in the CS search file because this particular CS search file is checked into the git repository when you run the uh, helix on-prem deployment and it is done through the helix generate config pipeline once it runs successfully it gets to your repository basically in case of any failures in helix on-prem deployment or any uh, other pipelines you will have to upload the CS search file on each run of Helix on-prem deployment pipeline until the generate config is executed successfully at least once and if in case there comes a situation in which your certificate got expired and need to be changed in that particular situation you will need to update the key in a CS search file. Now let us see how we can do that through the video. As you can see while you will rebuild the pipeline uh, you will have to provide the CS search file. And in the CS search file, it is always mentioned that if in case you may have a CRT file or a PM file, as we mentioned earlier that the same file you, which you have used or the cert that you have used for the platform deployment, same needs to be used for your Helix innovation suit pipelines. As it says, applying a security certificates to your application, let's check that. So while you apply the security certificates, it's expected that uh, you have created a custom or a self-signed certificate. If you don't, then uh, yeah, let's try to see that. So preparing to use a self-signed or a custom CS certificate, you can download this particular CSI, CS search file. It will prompt you to go to this page and at the bottom, you can see the CS search file. Just download it, keep it in your system. Once you have this particular CS search file, you will just need to run this key tool commands so that whatever your CRT files or the keys are, those will be imported in the CS search. Let's try to execute these commands. So what I did is I just tried to prepare this command key tool import cert alias. I've just given my alias as my cert and file where I have that my custom cert and the key store where in CA search I need to import. I'll just try to run this command. I'll just use the password. I'll just say as no. I'll say yes instead of no because I trust this. So that messages appeared now that certificate was added to your key store so that creates your CS search file is available so I have extracted this particular file I have co copied this particular file in my system in temp directory so whenever I'll run the pipeline I'll use this particular file now as we said earlier this may be a possible situation uh, when your certificate got expired or there are any changes in the certificate so as per the document says while you apply the certificate you will have to run helix on-prem deployment pipeline from the rebuild so i'm just selecting helix on-prem deployment i'll just select the last run and i'll just try to use the rebuild option now with the rebuild option i will just try to uh, give the ca search file i'll just choose the file i'll use the file which i've copied in the temp directory so this is my recently created file. So this particular file I've applied. Now in the products to select, as they say, uh, product to deploy section, select only Helix generate config pipeline. So I'll just uncheck all my existing pipelines to deploy or the products to deploy. I'll just select Helix generate config and uh, I'll ensure and I'll just click on rebuild to build this particular certificate. Once your Helix on-prem deployment pipeline with 
helix generate config option is completed successfully you can see that in the generate config so i'll just go to the generate config i'll just say check the console output and from the console output just ensure that it has completed successfully that indicates the configuration changes related to the certificate are made successfully by this run now as per the document what it says is you will have to run the other components so in the product to deploy sections you will have to select helix generate config checkbox ensure you are unchecking that clear this particular checkbox and you will have to select the helix platform deploy non-platform deploy and smart apps deploy so now as uh, certificate got config changes have been made to the certificate i'll just go to the deployment i will just select the same run i'll just click on rebuild for this run and i'll again upload the csrts file over here as it is required from the temp directory and uh, in the products to deploy section i will just ensure that i select the platform then non platform as well as the smart apps and i'll rebuild this particular pipeline as it is mentioned in the document so once you do this just check each and every pipeline console output once it gets completed successfully the certificate changes will be deployed to the cluster